Hello everyone, this is Rishu. If you're planning to go to India in the near future, here are the 10 most important things that you should know before going to India. If you're going out with your partner, such as wife or girlfriend, make sure not to show any affection to your partner, such as kissing, holding hands or hugging because it is, it is considered as little offensive to the people in India and it is strictly prohibited, especially kissing is not allowed in public. So you should make sure not to kiss or show any affection to a partner. However, there are so many couple spots in big cities where couple go and sit together and they show affection openly. So there's no problem because those spots are designated for these things. But in general, you should avoid showing any kind of affection. Since India is a divorced country, you should expect not to find all kinds of meats in India. For example, you cannot find beef and pork, which is not usually consumed by a lot of people in India because of some religious belief. There are a lot of people from different backgrounds and religions, so you won't find beef and pork in every part of India. But of course, you can eat it at some designated places. Uh, the reason for that because every religion has its own belief and law. For example, Hindus, uh, which is the ma majority of the population, Hindus don't eat cow meat. So that's why they have their belief that they should not be eating cow meat. That's why it is not consumed, consumed by a lot of people and you won't find it everywhere in every restaurant. And similarly, pork. So in, for Muslims, pork is prohibited as per their religion. So they cannot eat pork. So that's why you cannot find pork and meat in every restaurant so you have to be really careful also when you're asking an Indian person about eating pork and beef because they might get offensive because of that so make sure that you find some designated places and don't talk about pork and beef to any Indian person because he might not be eating it and he might get offended So in India, if you go to any house or temple or any shop or any other place, uh, you should always remove your footwear outside of that place, outside of the room. The reason for that because Indian believe that cleanliness is godliness, which means that they want to keep their place clean and like speak and span. So make sure you don't enter the house or a room wearing, uh, wearing your footwear and keep them outside. The reason for that because in India, most of the people clean their houses in the morning and in order to avoid any dust or dirt uh, they make sure that people just remove their footwear outside of the room because when you enter the, uh, enter the room with your footwear, footwear usually uh, carries a lot of dust or dirt so in order to avoid that it's, it's always a good option that you should remove that outside so make sure you don't enter anyone's house or other places wearing your footwear. The polite way to greet someone in India is to say hello or you can also shake hands with each other which is a common greeting. Uh, another traditional greeting is Namaste uh, which is not so common it's a traditional greeting but if you want to do you can do that. Uh, I think foreigners do more Namaste than Indian people. Indian people usually shake hands or say hello in general. But yeah, uh, Namaste is a traditional greeting. You just, you simply fold your hands like this and say Namaste. And apart from that, uh, make sure when you meeting a person of opposite gender, for example, if you are a man and if you're meeting a woman, make sure not to offer hand or not to hold hands so tightly. Make sure to maintain some personal distance, personal space, because it's considered polite whenever you meet a person of opposite gender you have to show respect so you never offer your hand to the women and also don't try to be so close like any other western culture like we have no kissing culture on the cheek or no hugging or something like that usually especially with women maintain some personal space and you can also always say hello which is a common greeting So when we think about India, we all, all, always consider that India is a really hot country, which is kind of true, but it's only true for summer season. 
for us. So if you come to India in summer season, it's gonna be really hot, especially in southern part of India. But in winter season, it's not hot, it's actually really cold. So make sure that if you're traveling through during the winter season, get your warm clothes with you because it's gonna be really cold and you're gonna regret later that it's really cold and you can't survive the cold. So don't think that India is always hot. In winter, it's really cold. In fact, there are some places in extreme northern side where there's a lot of snowfall. So you can actually go to those places, experience really good view and snowfall, and you can really enjoy there. Uh, in India, actually, we have six seasons. Uh, technically, we have summer, winter, and uh, autumn, spring. And apart from that, we have an additional two seasons, that is monsoon and pre-winter. So we actually have six seasons in total. So every, every month is different and every month has a different season. So in winter, it's really cold, especially in northern side. So make sure to carry your warm clothes whenever you go to India. It's not always hot. Okay, let's talk about Indian food. So Indian food is not only curry. So when people think about Indian food, they think, oh, curry, but it's not only curry. Indian food have many different varieties of food, such as some mashed vegetables and some legumes. Especially legumes is one of the staple foods in India. And we have different kinds of legumes, such as beans and some peas and different kinds of lentils. So we have so many kinds of lentils or legume. Apart from that, we have vegetables. We usually eat a lot of vegetables. We have mashed vegetables or cooked or sauteed or say sometimes grilled vegetables. So we eat different kinds of vegetables uh, depending upon how you cook them. And also uh, we put, we usually put a lot of condiments or spices and other herbs in our food because which is a common thing for Indian food. We have all these things are present in any food you eat so expect all these kind of things and apart from that they are really nice dishes and there are so many desserts in India India is famous for a lot of desserts so you're gonna enjoy all kinds of food in India so expect not just curry but there are different kinds of foods in India as well okay what language do Indian people speak is it Indian no, Indian is not a language. So we always think like that, that in Japan people speak Japanese. So in India, people speak Indian. Indian is not a language, but you can say that there are many different Indian languages. So when we talk about Indian languages, Hindi is the most common language, uh, which is spoken by the majority of the people. But not only Hindi, there are different and many languages in India depend upon it, it depends upon which part of India you go to. So in southern part, they have their regional languages such as Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam and so on. And in the northern part, uh, most people speak Hindi and some people speak Bhojpuri and different languages. So there are so many languages, but Hindi is spoken by the majority of the people. So Indian is not a language. There are different languages and Hindi is the most common language. Okay, unlike any Western countries in India, if you go to any loo in India or toilet, you're not gonna find toilet papers. The reason for that because Indian people don't find it hygienic and they want, want to use water to clean their butt. So you're gonna find, uh, we call it jet spray. Jet spray is a kind of device uh, which you can actually press the button and it release some water uh, with force. So you can actually clean your butt with the jet spray. And also you're gonna find uh, some bucket with mug. In some places, if you don't find jet spray, there are some buckets and along with mug and you can actually fill the bucket with water and use mug to put water on, onto your butt. But don't expect that you're gonna find toilet papers everywhere. Of course, if you go to some hotels, you're gonna find toilet papers there. But if you are a person, especially from Western country, and you're not comfortable using jet spray, you need to carry your own toilet papers in, in order to make sure that you clean your butt properly. So you're not gonna find toilet papers in every loo in India. If you are in India, you have to address senior people with respect. It means that you cannot call them by their name unlike Western countries because it is considered offensive or rude. 
So if you meet a person who's older than you, you always address them by saying sir or madam, which is a common way of addressing people. You can also say uncle and auntie, uh, which is more like an Indian way of addressing a person. So in, in India, many Indian people uh, address the elder or older people as uncle or auntie but you can also call them by sir or madam if, if they are stranger to you so don't call them by name and professionally people also say mr and miss and mrs right so you can use that title as well but it is used professionally so make sure you always call or address people older people and the elderly with sir and madam If you go to India and you're going in public, make sure you wear proper clothes or dress modestly because wearing short dresses and revealing clothes is considered taboo in India and most people don't find it really good. So you have to wear proper clothes which covers your all private and body parts and which is actually good if you have to be on the safer side. But yeah, if you go to a club or pub, that's all right to wear some Western clothes um, because in, in those places this is a kind of dress code and a lot of people are from younger generation so it's okay to wear short clothes but yeah in public make sure to dress properly also uh, you might see a lot of people wearing sari especially women in some small places because sari is a traditional dress in India but in big cities people like to wear western clothes but they make sure the dress dresses are not too short and too revealing because it's not so good as per the Indian culture. So always dress properly.